stabilizer. Large mechanical town clocks driven by heavy weights were known at Leonardo's day. He experimented with springs rather than weights of clocks, hoped that because springs would be less subject to friction, the mechanism would be more accurate. So, he uses a gear system of gear springs and wind screws to regulate the speed of the shaft, which drives the hands of the clock. As the spring in the shaft winds down, it engages with the spiral set and the second shaft in such a way that the speed of rotation remains constant. Okay, this is complicated, I can tell. So, driven by heavy weights. Okay, let's just look at it. handle down there that we're not supposed to touch. Okay. One screw. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six gear stands. I see then that'll engage at some point. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Yeah. I don't know anything else on it. But, but I'm trying to read it and figure it out. So it says, as the spring in the shaft winds down, the speed of the shaft which drives the hands of the clock. Which one is that? The shaft which drives the hands of the clock. And as it winds down... Well, I'm pretty sure this will even work. Okay, so like this one obviously moves up and down, right? And here... This is rotating, but I think I think what happens is this. I think this has to um, be on the spring, yeah. and then as the spring winds down, it releases it closer and closer to here, so it'll contact different ones on here. Now I don't know how it actually goes up. You know what I mean? I think um, this was supposed to be a spring, but I think you just replace it with a block of wood, so it I doesn't see. actually work. All right. So okay. So if this was the spring. Oh, it would go down. I think it would go down because the gears are going down. Right, so how would... Well, it starts down and goes up. Yeah. It starts so... down and goes up, and then it has to back out. So something else must be happening down here, yeah. but okay, so... And then, then this would go up. So this is technically rotating against here, I think, but it not... Be. It's not touching. But it's not touching, right? It's just a demo. Um, okay. Mysterious. Clock thing in the lab. Yeah, those clock makers were pretty fancy people. You're talking about springs. All right, so we're figuring out that this moves horizontally because there's a wheel here to let it turn. Right. There. right. And then right, and there's a little gear thing in the bob here, so that when these turn um, and the worm gear turns, then it can all move this way. Oh, and the worm gear. Okay, great, great, great. It's moving this way, and the worm gear then turns, and it causes this to go down. I guess. Oh, this is, there's a screw here. So this right. automatically goes down as it spins. Right. So this. Yeah. Uh, I still. So maybe the spring is down here? I don't know. Okay, let me look at this.